Temperatures are rising, the soil cracks and crops die out. Water shortages have become the new normal for many regions across the world. So, we need rain. But can humans actually make it rain? We've come to a point where we can actually control the weather. Well, at least to a certain degree. It's thanks to a real scientific process called cloud seeding. Cloud seeding is a weather modification technique to make clouds rain artificially. Although it sounds futuristic, this technique dates back to the 1940s. But in recent years, it has become a technique that governments increasingly turn to as we face water shortages and rising temperatures exacerbated by climate change. Here is how it works. Aircraft release tiny particles, often silver iodide, salt or dry ice into the clouds. These particles act as seeds for water vapor to condense more easily. As the droplets grow larger and heavier, they eventually fall off the clouds as rain or snow. Cloud seeding is used for several reasons such as to increase rainfall in drought-prone areas or to boost snowfall in mountain ridges for water supply. It is also regularly used to clear fog in airports, fight forest fires and even divert rainfall. Countries like the United Arab Emirates, China, India and the United States have all invested heavily in this technology to help manage water resources. On the positive side, this technique can spot agriculture, replenish reservoirs and mitigate drought impacts. The promise of creating rain when it's needed is highly appealing, but it is costly and not always guaranteed to work. More importantly, we are intervening in nature's work. Cloud seeding essentially disrupts water cycles. It often works in one place at the expense of another. If one area creates artificial rain, then it might reduce rainfall for neighboring regions. Its extensive use could cause floods and landslides. Long-term effects are still not clear either. Introducing chemicals into the atmosphere could contaminate water resources and soil, or increase health risks due to higher exposure to silver iodide. In other words, cloud seeding might bring rain today, but what storms could it bring tomorrow?